the bastard caddis. Go ahead and start the fly off by mashing the barbell in the Diariki 300 size 12. Then place the hook in your vise and start your thread behind the hook eye. Wrap down about one fifth times the hook shank and cut the tag end off. Now go to some squirmy worm material here in Neon Glow. Cut a section about one and a half times the hook shank in length. Take that section and go back to your hook. Tie the cut section face forward on top of the hook shank. First take some loose wraps to position it. And then once it's nice and placed, go ahead and cut the excess off. Now lay down some tighter wraps. Still try not to cut through the squirmy worm material, as it is rubber and will cut fairly easily. Now go to some natural colored cow, cow elk plank hide. Cut a section about one half times a pencil in width. Strip out the short fibers and underfur. You may need to use a comb to do this. Now place it tips first into a hair stacker, hair packer, stacker. Pound it a couple times to align the tips. Then carefully remove the inner tube, pull out any abnormal fibers, and keeping the tips aligned, pull out the tips gingerly. And transfer them to your other hand. Now go back to your hook. With the tips facing the back end of the hook, go ahead and tie a wing about one hook shank in length. Splay them out so it covers the whole top half of the hook. Create a nice thread base, trying to make it as smooth as possible. Now grab the butt ends, take a couple wraps in front of them to stand them up, and cut ahead about two hook guys in length. Now go to a brown hand cape. Try to find a hackle feather that's a size 12, just like the hook. Try to look at the outer hide. Once you find the correct feather, find where the fibers get too big and webby and pull that off. And then cut the rest off, leaving bare stem, just a little bit. Now go back to your fly. With the shiny side facing towards you, tie it slightly towards the near side, stem first. Then bring your thread towards the back of the head. Now take touching wraps of hackle up towards your thread. You will get about five or six. Try not to trap any feathers, fe any feathers as you palmer the hackle up. Once you reach the back end of the head, go ahead and take a couple wraps to secure the hackle. And go ahead and cut the rest of the tip off clean. Now pull everything back and jump your thread up towards the eye in front of the elk hair head. Now carefully whip finish your thread, making sure not to trap any hackle fly fibers or elk hair fibers. Then go ahead and cut your thread off and invert your fly in the vise. Now cut the hackle flush with the underside of the fly. This will keep the fly sitting low in the water. After that, apply some drops of nail hardener or head cement towards the under wraps for durability, and that's it, that's the fly.